friends, welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. So if you've visited Walt Disney World in recent years, you've probably realized that Hollywood Studios is one of the most popular parks to enjoy rides and attractions, ranging from Star Wars to Toy Story to other thrill rides such as the Tower of Terror and some amazing shows and other experiences. What some people don't realize, however, is that Hollywood Studios is home to some amazing restaurants, as well as immersive theming and some delicious food. We've had the opportunity to eat at all of the restaurants at Hollywood Studios with our family, and today we're going to rank them based on our family's experiences. Now there are a total of seven table service restaurants in Hollywood Studios, and these are the nice sit-down restaurants where you can make advanced dining reservations up to 60 days in advance. They typically have higher food quality and nicer theming than some of your quick service and counter service restaurants. In alphabetical order, these restaurants include 50's Primetime Cafe, Hollywood and Vine, Mama Melrose's Ristorante Italiano, Oga's Cantina, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, opening March 23rd of 2023, Sci-Fi Dine and Theater Restaurant, and the Hollywood Brown Derby. Now my husband and I debated on these quite a bit and analyzed the following factors to help determine our rankings, including quality of the food, the value for the price you pay, taking portion sizes and kids meals into account, restaurant theming, and extra Disney magic in those special Disney experiences. All right, well, let's jump right into those rankings, shall we? we? So starting off, we have Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. And at the time of making this video, this restaurant in Toy Story Land hasn't yet opened. So we're excited to visit and try it out on our next Disney World trip. This restaurant opens on March 23rd of 2023, and it's located near the entrance of Toy Story Land. This is a Western themed restaurant that continues with the theming of the land to see the world through the eyes of Andy's favorite toys. Now, based on the concept art and pictures that we've seen so far, you'll be surrounded by some fun theming to look like an old western town with some cool train station playsets as well. You will also see some of your favorite Toy Story characters, including Sheriff Woody and Jesse, the yodeling cowgirl, and Bo Peep and her sheep. Barbecue is what's on the menu at this restaurant, and the meal will be served family style with fixed pricing starting at $45 for adults and $25 for children ages 3 to 9. Now this meal includes homemade cheddar biscuits with sweet pepper jelly, the root and toot and tomato salad, Rex's romaine and kale salad, and Wheezy's watermelon salad. For your main entrees, you can choose from either a platter of house smoked meats or a plant-based option. The meat option includes smoked ribs, beef brisket, pork sausage, and barbecue chicken. You also get to pick four different sides to share with your table, including options such as potato salad, loaded potato barrels, veggie slaw, fried pickles, roasted veggies, mac and cheese, baked beans, and corn on the cob. For dessert, you get to pick from a variety of options, including Bo's lemon and blueberry cheesecake, Billy's chocolate silk pie, goat's apple pie, Gruff's peach strawberry pie, or a cupcake a la forky. We are really excited for another table service restaurant option at Hollywood Studios, and if the pictures are any indication, this may be a new family favorite for us. We'll look forward to sharing a full review on our next family trip to the park. All right, let's jump right in with our rankings. Starting in at number six, we have Mama Melrose Ristorante Italiano. This is an Italian restaurant located in the backlot area of Hollywood Studios, tucked behind Muppet Vision 3D and Pizza Rizzo. The inside of this restaurant has some nice theming with checkered curtains, twinkly lights and cooking utensils, and other Italian items hanging from the ceiling and on the walls. There's also a really cute backstory that the Disney Imagineers cooked up with for this restaurant about a young Italian girl from Sicily who moved to Hollywood to become a star, but she found her true calling recreating her father's recipes to feed her starving actor friends. And so she opened a restaurant in a vacant backlot to bring Italian comfort food to California. Mama Melrose is open for lunch and dinner, and the menu includes classic Italian dishes such as calamari, flatbread pizza, pasta, chicken, seafood, and steak, as well as traditional dessert favorites including tiramisu and their chocolate cherry tart. They also have a selection of Italian and California wines, beers and cocktails, as well as specialty coffees. 
Now, although the food is typically good here based on our experiences, it's not the best Italian food at Disney World in our opinion. It has some steep competition from the other restaurants in the park, with some better theming and better food quality. However, you can often get a dining reservation here, and if you're craving Italian food while you're at Hollywood Studios, it's a nice option for you. For these reasons, we're going to give it a ranking of 5 out of 10 for quality of the food, 6 out of 10 for value for the price you pay, 5 out of 10 for restaurant theming, and 4 out of 10 for extra Disney magic for a total points of 20 out of 40. Coming up next on our list at number 5 is Oga's Cantina, located in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Although this is less of a restaurant and more of a really cool lounge, it still makes our list because you can make advanced dining reservations for breakfast, lunch, and dinner time, and they have a few food options to go along with their amazing assortment of drinks. Now, Oka's is a must-do experience at Hollywood Studios in our opinion, especially for Star Wars fans. Oka's is a refuge for bounty hunters, smugglers, and travelers who visit Batu. And there are some booths inside, but most of the restaurant is standing room only, around the bar area and at standing tables, so keep this in mind if you're visiting with kids. If you want to enjoy the alcoholic beverages, there is also a maximum of two drinks per guest and a time limit on your experience of 45 minutes, so keep this in mind. Once you enter Oka's, you'll also enjoy the musical talents of DJ Rex, who entertains the guests and plays some great beats. Food options include snacks such as the Batu Bits, which are crispy pork rinds with a spicy dip, as well as the Habibor Sambler, which comes with an assortment of cured and roasted meats, cheeses, and pork rinds. These are very adventurous items, so please keep this in mind before you order, as there are a few items on the platter that our family didn't really care for. We also have some really neat provisions that are served with or without alcohol, including the Rodian Ration and Oga's Obsession. These are fun jello dishes with boba popping pearls and pop rocks, along with some other fun flavors. What Oga's is really well known for is the drinks, including both concoctions with and without alcohol. Some of our favorites include the Fuzzy Tauntaun that has a buzz button tingling foam that may make your lips and tongue numb. They also have the T16 Skyhopper with a delicious melon liqueur and kiwi, and the Yub Nub with rum and tropical juices that will remind you of a Mai Tai. Other drinks include the Jenny Mind Trick, the Bloody Rancor, the Outer Rim, Dagobah Slug Slinger, the Bespin Fizz, and Jet Juice. Oga's is also a fun place for kids or those looking to enjoy a drink without alcohol. Our kids love the Java Juice and the Carbon Freeze that come in fun glasses with boba popping pearls and dry ice for a really fun effect. They also love the Blue Bantha, which includes blue milk with a vanilla butter sugar cookie on top. Other options include the Hyperdrive, Blurg Fire, the Black Spire Brew, and the Cliff Dweller. Our family absolutely loves going to Oka's, and it's a popular spot, so dining reservations can be more difficult to get, so we recommend booking 60 days in advance. You're definitely paying a premium for the immersive atmosphere and the unique and innovative food and drinks. Because of this, and its lack of a full food menu and sit-down seating, it comes in a little bit lower on our list, but here's our rankings. For quality of the food, we give it a 4 out of 10. Value for the price you pay, we give it 5 out of 10. Restaurant theming, we give it an 8 out of 10 and extra Disney magic, six out of 10. All of this for a total of 24 out of 40 points. Coming up next on our rankings at number four is Hollywood and Vine. This restaurant is located next to Echo Lake and is a character dining location that's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. During breakfast, you get to enjoy popular Disney Junior characters. This is a really fun interactive character dining where the characters make their rounds to each table if you want to get hugs or pictures as well as autographs, and they also have a fun dance party. Meals here are back to being served buffet style, and the buffet is a set price. At the time of this video, it was $42 for adults and $27 for children ages 3 to 9 for breakfast, and $59 for adults and $38 for children for lunch and dinner. Breakfast options include pastries, Mickey waffles, bananas foster French toast, breakfast potatoes, bacon and sausage, bread pudding, a plant-based frittata, eggs benedict, oatmeal, salmon and bagel casserole, oatmeal, omelet station, sticky buns, chicken and waffles, and yogurt parfaits. They also have an allergy-friendly option available upon request. For lunch and dinner, this restaurant changes to mini seasonal dining, where you are joined by Minnie Mouse and her friends. 
The characters' outfits, music, and menu changes on a seasonal basis, which is really fun. In 2023, that means it's Silver Screen Dining from January to March 15th, Springtime Dining from March 16th to May 24th, Summertime Dining starting May 25th, Halloween Dining in the Fall, and Minnie's Holiday Dine during the holidays. For lunch and dinner, you get to enjoy a buffet, including salads, assorted breads, shrimp, mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, salmon, herb chicken, risotto, roasted pork, mac and cheese with shrimp and bacon, herb potatoes, and tenderloin steak. They also have slow roasted crispy pork belly and serve assorted cocktails, wine, and beer for additional cost. We really enjoyed our last visit to this restaurant, which was during the holidays. The characters were great and came around often to our table, and we were really pleased with the food as well. However, because of the character dining experience and a buffet, it's definitely a pricier option compared to some of the other options in the park. For these reasons, we're gonna rank the quality of the food, six out of 10, value for the price, five out of 10, restaurant theming, six out of 10, and extra Disney magic and special experiences, eight out of 10, for a total of 25 out of 40 points. Coming in next at number three is Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. This is one of our favorite places in the park to enjoy lunch, and it has some pretty amazing theming that brings it to the top of your dining list. The theming here is one of our favorites in the park because when you walk into this restaurant, you are transported to a 1950s style drive-in theater at nighttime, where your food booths are little cars and they play sci-fi movie clips up on the big screen. This restaurant is open for lunch and dinner, and going along with the 50s drive-in theme, they serve classic American favorites. Appetizers include onion rings, fried pickles, spinach artichoke dip, wings, Caesar salad. Entrees include a barbecue burger, classic American burger, or the feature film burger that changes throughout the year. They also have a chicken salad sandwich, pork burger, grilled chicken citrus salad, chicken or salmon pasta, and an impossible burger. But don't forget to save room for dessert because they have some really delicious options here, including hot fudge sundaes or shakes, cheesecake, or the house-made sci-fi candy bar, which is a popular favorite. They also serve cocktails, wine, sangria, beer, and hard cider. Although the food quality maybe isn't as great as some of the other options in the park, they serve some really good burgers and shakes here that we always enjoy. And our kids absolutely love getting to sit in the cars and watch the shows while they eat. For these reasons, we give the quality of the food a 6 out of 10, value for the price, 6 out of 10, restaurant theming, 9 out of 10, extra Disney magic and special experiences, 7 out of 10, for a total of 28 out of 40 points. All right, we're down to our final two. Coming in on our list at number two is the Hollywood Brown Derby. This is one of our favorite restaurants in the park as they have some more fine dining options for adults to enjoy, but still have kid-friendly options on their kids' menu. This restaurant is open for lunch and dinner and is located on Hollywood Boulevard and really embraces the golden age of Hollywood theming as the restaurant is an authentic replica of the famous Brown Derby in Hollywood, California. The inside of this restaurant just oozes with old Hollywood charm, with beautiful chandeliers and wood paneling, and neat drawings and caricatures of Hollywood celebrities on the walls. They modify the menu here about every six months, providing guests with timeless dishes and classic cocktails, as well as new menu options to enjoy each time you visit. The menu includes appetizers such as roasted squash and apple soup, crab louis, tomato and burrata salad, a charcuterie board, shrimp cocktail, escargot, and the roasted bone marrow. Entrees include upscale options such as the filet mignon, salmon, cocovan, and the famous cob salad, as well as grilled pork, risotto, seafood, braised short rib, and duckle orange. They also have some delicious enhancements you can order individually or to accompany your meal, including the shrimp macaroni and cheese, Brussels sprouts, and a spoon bread with lavender honey butter. For dessert, they have the grapefruit cake, which is a brown derby original dish, as well as creme brulee and decadent chocolate cake. They also have different beverage flights you can enjoy, as well as a full wine list, classic cocktails, and after dinner drinks. Every time we come back to the Brown Derby, we are so pleased with the quality of the food and the amazing service. Although it's on the higher end of, for the price, it's definitely a more upscale fine dining experience and the food quality doesn't disappoint. It's for these reasons, our rankings give it 
quality of the food, 10 out of 10. Value for the price, 8 out of 10. Restaurant theming, 8 out of 10. And extra Disney magic and special experiences, 6 out of 10, for a total of 32 out of 40 points. All right, last but certainly not least, coming in at number one on our list, one of the restaurants that we always recommend to people if they've never visited Hollywood Studios is 50's Primetime Cafe. This restaurant is open for lunch and dinner and really is a blast from the past, where it's themed like Mom's Kitchen and the cast members are your aunts and uncles, cousins, and extended family. The inside of the restaurant looks like you've walked into a 1950s dining room and kitchen, and they even have retro TVs at the tables and on the walls to enjoy black and white clips from 1950s sitcoms. One of the fun things about this restaurant is the interactions with the cast members, who are completely in character during your dining experience, and they will give you lessons in table etiquette to keep your elbows off the table, put your napkin in your lap, and eat all of your vegetables, and always clean your plate. They even dole out punishment to guests who don't follow the rules, such as maybe standing in the corner or singing I'm a little teapot, but it's all part of the fun. If you finish your meal, you even get a clean plate club sticker, which really motivated our kids to finish their meals. Now mom is cooking up some amazing comfort food in the kitchen here. Appetizers include fried herb and garlic cheese, roasted tomato soup, onion rings, wedge salad, and deviled eggs. Entrees include fried chicken, Caesar salad, salmon, chicken pot pie, old fashioned pot roast, and traditional meatloaf. Or you can even get a sampler of mom's favorite recipes that includes the fried chicken, pot roast, and meatloaf that we highly recommend. Desserts include dad's favorite chocolate peanut butter layered cake, apple crisp, lemon meringue pie, pineapple upside down cake, or the grasshopper bar that has mint chocolate mousse on a chocolate chip cookie. They also have a variety of drink options from dad's liquor cabinet, such as classic cocktails, wine and beer, and you can also enjoy these at the tune-in lounge next to the restaurant. This is definitely one of our family's favorite restaurants at Disney World, with a good value for the price, huge portion sizes, and really fun theming and memorable interactions with the cast members that we'll never forget. It's for these reasons that we rate the quality of the food at 9 out of 10, value for the price, 9 out of 10, restaurant theming, 9 out of 10, and extra Disney magic and special experiences, 8 out of 10, for a total of 35 out of 40 points. We hope you enjoyed this overview of restaurants at Hollywood Studios. We always love to hear from you, so let us know in the comments below your favorite restaurants or experiences at Hollywood Studios. If you'd like to see a detailed dining review of any of the restaurants or other locations around Disney World, check out our Disney Dining Review playlist at the link above or in our video description below. We hope you have a magical day, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks for joining in our family adventures.